we now know that rats are not only smart enough to drive cars, they actually love it so much that they'll choose to go for longer joy rides, even if it means waiting longer for a sweet treat. Dr. Kelly Lambert, a neuroscientist who also advocates for housing laboratory animals like pets in more natural, high enrichment habitats, created special rat-operated vehicles complete with steering mechanisms and tiny pedals. The rats took to driving surprisingly quickly, learning to push the pedal to move forward and steer toward a special treat. The completely non-invasive experiment measured hormone levels in the rats' droppings throughout each session to determine their emotional responses and found that learning to drive made the rats more emotionally resilient and lowered stress levels, just like how we often feel more confident after mastering a new skill. And in a surprising twist, when given the option between walking directly to their treat or driving a longer way to get to it, many rats chose to take the scenic route just for the fun of it. Not only that, researchers found that just anticipating their next driving lesson made the rats happier, with many of them eagerly jumping into their cars before the day's training even began. It goes to show that they're not so different from us, and that simply having something fun planned in the future could have real positive impacts on mental health. So this is officially your sign to finally book that thing you've been wanting to do forever, and if anyone asks why, you can just say that the little rats who like driving cars inspired you to. This rat earned a tiny gold medal for a five-year career of life-saving work in Cambodia. Magawa was trained by nonprofit Apopo to detect landmines left behind from former conflicts. All African giant pouch rats are known for being intelligent and happiest when given lots of mental stimulation. But Magawa was always exceptional. At only 2.6 pounds, he was perfect for landmine detection since he was too small to set them off himself. He graduated at the top of his class from a year-long training program and could sniff and search an area the size of a tennis court in just 20 minutes. Plus, unlike metal detectors, Magawa could ignore harmless scraps of metal, making him much more efficient for the job. During his career, he found a total of 71 landmines and 38 other dangerous items, making over 56 acres of land safe for farming, housing development, and recreation. In 2020, Magawa's work led him to become the first rat to ever receive the PDSA Gold Medal, a highly regarded award for animal bravery. Throughout his career, Magawa lived among friends in a high enrichment environment, with a weekly checkup to make sure he was always happy and healthy. All Apopo hero rats can retire whenever they decide to stop completing tasks, and in 2021, Magawa decided he preferred napping and chose to retire. He spent the rest of his time staying home with his friends, enjoying bananas and peanuts. Today, his legacy is carried on by the newest hero rats, who are not only finding landmines, but also detecting tuberculosis and locating survivors of disasters. A woman in California forgave two masked bandits who ransacked her house in the middle of the night because she thought they were cute. The Santa Cruz resident was awoken at 2.30 a.m. one night because she heard some unusual noises coming from inside the house. Upon turning the lights on, she discovered that her entire house had been ransacked by a masked mother-son duo who had gained entry through a doggy door. The suspects, who were both wearing distinctive black masks and ringed tails, had knocked over tables, lamps, and even artwork during their late-night crime spree, possibly inspired by this raccoon duo who attempted to rob a bank just 50 miles north. When confronted, the mother suspect made a quick getaway through the doggy door, while her juvenile accomplice stayed behind, seemingly unfazed by being caught red pod. A local wildlife specialist was called to the scene at 4 a.m., where he found evidence of what he described as a total tantrum throughout the house. The young perpetrator was apprehended without incident and safely released to his mother, who was waiting patiently outside for her son. The homeowner declined to press charges, stating that she knows these attempted burglars, who are actually quite cute, are very important to the ecosystem. Overall, no permanent damage was done to the property, and the homeowner now has a great story to share at parties.